Hi, and welcome to Circus from the Lab. I am Zuad Mar from the Systems Development Group. And today, we will be looking at analog devices may have speech and roll, angular rate sensor gyroscope, the ADXR S290P mode board. And I'll be showing to you how it works in the Nao OS device driver on the EVA ADA Cup 3029 platform. For the hardware requirements, all we need are the ADXR S290P mode board, ADA Cup 3029 development board, micro USB to USB cable that comes inside the ADA Cup 3029 box, and of course, a PC or laptop with USB port. To begin the setup, plug in the ADXR S290P mode board in the ADA Cup 3029 via port P8 and plug in the USB cable from the PC to the ADA Cup 3029 via port P10. Make sure that S2 and S5 is in USB and USB wall configuration. The whole setup should look like this. Now that we are done setting up, we are now ready to view the ADX or S290P mod readings. First is through ADI's IO oscilloscope. And the second method is using Python obstruction in PyADI IIO. I'll be showing you all this method in a detailed and more comprehensive way, so let's get started. One method of viewing the device reading is the use of ADI's IO oscilloscope. IO oscilloscope is a simple GUI for interfacing IO devices, such as our ADXR S290. It is useful for bordering up and debugging as you are writing your own application software. To program the ADA Cup 3029 with the software for the ADXR S290P mod, you need to download first the hex file for IO devices. The link is provided below. Extract the zip file. Do note that when you extract the zip file, you will see two different hex files compressed. For this demo, use the UART hex file. Then drag and drop this hex file in the Daplink drive. This will program your ADA Cup 3029. To configure IO oscilloscope, you need to download and install its Windows application. You can access it in the link provided below. Upon successful installation, you can open it by going to the Start menu and search for IO oscilloscope. Do note of the COM port number of your device. In my case, it's COM port number 5. In the OSC.exe window, select Serial Context, select the comport number of your device, and set the baud rate to 115200. Then press the refresh button to display the available I.O. devices. Once ADXR S290 appears, press Connect. On the Capture window, select the X and Y channel. X axis represents the roll angular rate while well, y-axis represents the pitch angular rate. You can also select the temp if you want to display the device temperature. But in this demo, it is not necessary. Now press the play button. It should now display the ADXR S290P mode board readings in time domain plot. You can also disable the auto scale function and set your desired maximum and minimum y-axis range. As you can see in the plot, the green trace represents the roll angular rate of the P mode board and the red trace represents the pitch angular rate of the P mode board. To demonstrate and show the difference between the two axes, I use a rotating platform and place the P mode board in vertical orientation. As you can see, the motor rotation is gradually increasing that is proportional to the pitch angular rate while maintaining the average rate of roll axis. Now, observe the plot when P mode board plays in a horizontal orientation. As you can see, the motor rotation is gradually increasing that is proportional to the roll angular rate while maintaining the average rate of pitch axis. You can also view the real-time X and Y reading as well as the device temperature in the DMM tab. Do note that you can only either use the DMM or the capture window at any given time. 
with basic operation of ADXR S290 device established. Let's look at a Python example. PyDI IO is a very easy to use Python abstraction layer for IO device drivers. You can install it on your Linux, Windows, or Mac by following the instructions at the link below. Or you can follow the video guide on how to clone, install, and configure PyDI IO in the link below. Now, with PyDI IO installed, we are now ready to view the readings from RP mode board. Take note of the comport number of your device. Go to the directory where you install the PyDI IO. In the examples folder, open adxrs290.py with any of your favorite text editor. Then look for the URI. Change the serial URI based on the comport number of your device. Save it. Now, in the start menu, search for the command prompt and navigate in the directory of pydiio. Run the adxr s290.py script in the examples folder. You should be able to see the device readings of your mode board in time domain plot. And that's how your ADXR S290 P mode works. I hope this demo helps you in bringing up and setting up your device. Thank you for watching and see you next time. For more information, visit analog.com slash eval dash ADXR S290 dash PMDZ.